Good morning, Father in Heaven. How are you today? We have seem to be blanketed with just something across the sky. I don't see the sun. Not yet. The sun should be coming up just above that line over there here shortly. But anyways, uh, I was just checking out. Oh, that's this mark right here. That was just a mark on the window, guys. And see, Jesus Christ rebukes anything that's in this house or outside that's in the first, second, and third heavens that shouldn't be there, that is up to no good and nefarious activities. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and on the battlefield down on the ground. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Nothing can come against the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing. And Father, thank you for loosening and hasting down those holy angels as um, if it is in your goodwill and pleasure. Bind, 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 attack, 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 bind, 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 attack, 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 bind, 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 attack, 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 bind, 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 attack, 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 bind, 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 attack, 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 bind, 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 attack, 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 bind, 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 attack, 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 I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know what, guys? When you say seven sets of bind and seven sets of attack, after you say your prayer, uh, if you want to pray against the chemtrails that are up in the skies, which is awesome, you should be able to do that. And because they're so heavy and thick, guys, we need all of the believers. There's a section of believers that I know you guys can't stand them things. You can pray against them, and it's effective. you got to do it two to three times. I've had it happen before where I'm praying immediately, and right when I'm doing it, it breaks up the entire cloud. The plane disappears into a cloud and then never flies back out again. It's on my channel. All you got to do is go back and look. Looks like there's like two little white things floating out there. Yep. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Out you go. Bye. In fact, that's a gray smoky color, but I have no idea what it is because, you know, Honestly, um, I was just praying for holy angels to come down and to rebuke any demonic and nefarious activities. And it is light, lighting up the sky a lot more so than um, normal. It's darker right now, even though the sun is coming up. It's usually that tree back there that I would have problems seeing stuff at. And... <laughs> There's this angel that has a hook up on the top of it, and I can't see very well at all, but it's, like, got a hook. It's so weird because they show them in cartoons to look like that now in this one um, cartoon that my daughter t watches. But anyways, so it's a smoky color looking thing with a hook, and that's the good one. And he fights against these yellow ones that show up, and thank goodness they're not showing up anymore. Because this is the actual phone. I'm using my daughter's phone, not the tablet that it used to show up on. So, but there's still stuff out there, you guys. There is, okay? There just is. It's everywhere because think of all the history with all of the beings and the entities that were created pre-Noah, pre-Noah flood date. And though their spirits are trapped here in the firmament until judgment day. And so you have all kinds of things that manifest that are real, that are, um, you know, mainly invisible. Like the gray, smoky stuff, those are angels patrolling the area. And then if you see anything, I've seen some crazy stuff, y'all. This is nothing. This is nothing. Um, it just looks kind of smoky out there, which I like. And, you know, there is a little reflection sometimes that you got to take into consideration with the actual window, but I'm trying to get it as clear as I possibly can so you guys can see. But it does, it looks like it's like a film of kind of like smoke coming down across over the top of the building that we're looking at right, in at right now straight ahead. I like that. I pray against the Double Tree Hotel, which you can see from here. And I pray against that Double Tree Hotel and that all the demonic entities and things sacrificing that's going up on the top floor of that place. I've gone in there. We've gone in there and anointed. You can't get up to the top floor, of course. Um, but because they're elevators, you got to have a key. 
So, but other than that, we went in there and anointed and prayed, but, and that's good. That's a good thing. So, so many weird things, y'all, that show up on camera, and I'm not sure what that was. I think that was just part of the window. I have no clue. Like I said, I can't see. Oh, okay, what's that? Oh, see, they work in another dimension, so when they fly by what you guys just saw, it works in different dimensions than we're in, and so it can't come near you. I mean, I'm serious. I've been doing this for three years. God told me I would be exposing evil, and... um that I would be exposing that, and I just was like, well, it was like 2016 when he told me. He said it was more like the movie Star Wars than we know, so you guys, we got a lot ahead of us. <laughs> a lot ahead of us. Um, but anyways, they'll fly by just to show off, um, especially whatever it was that flew by right now. Um, definitely one of Satan's minions because they fly by real quick and fast. You can't see them. That's just it. And the UFOs are all over the skies, guys. You just can't see them because they move so fast, usually. So, but just taking a look up. There we go. There's the sun popping up. Beautiful sun. It's a little bit. I know we took an hour change in. Um, we're definitely. This is where the sun normally rises right up here. And this is where it comes up. And it is way off. I've been noticing that about the moon, too, but it might be because we are, I don't know, wobbling on our axis. Look, you guys, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, I never believed in Nibiru up until uh, recently, a couple of days ago, when I did a study of, there it is, the sun is looking beautiful, you guys. Uh, I did a study about the twin system, the binary twin system of the earth there is a uh and as a matter of fact it says in job where were you when i created the worlds he actually says worlds god yahweh yeah yeah he says it so there's two of them and they are connected and that's how we're in a closed system we're in a very much closed system and that's why Everybody jokes Hillary Clinton was joking and saying, well, at least we put 18 million cracks in it. And the Simpsons jokes about it. Every single like movie, that movie that had like Kate Hudson in it and or not. Was it Kate Hudson? No, it wasn't Kate Hudson. It was another one about where the the Hunger Games, they're totally in. Look, thank you, Father God, for this beautiful sun. I am recording this because I want you all to see this coming up. It is absolutely beautiful. You don't see the fullness of it yet. This is really beautiful. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So it shows in about two to three minutes, it'll be completely up. You're seeing just the barely, oh my goodness, wait until you see it. Um, so that Hunger Games movie shows there's a ferment, firmament as well. Every, there's so many different places. So you just have to study out the matter yourself. The sun, you guys, is absolutely adorable and beautiful. And I had a bunch of birds down there, but those, there's only three or four right now. Let's see. Let's get it centered back in on this. Father God, please... Show us something really super amazing. Your son is absolutely beautiful to die for. Thank you, Jesus. You are, when I think about it, every night when the sun sets and the sky turns purple and red, I think of you when you were crucified and the purple and the red blood that was shed. And then every morning reminds me that you lived and you rose again and on the third day. And that's part of the ABCDs. The A is admit you're a sinner. B, believe that he died and rose three days later for you, for your sins. He came here and died for you. C, call upon his name. Keep calling upon his name and start reading the Bible and he will reveal himself to you. And D is deliverance by be becoming born again. And you need to go get a full submersion, fully submerged baptism, and you will receive the gifts in the spirit that's what happened to me. Um, although I was getting a lot of supernatural stuff happening before my baptism too, but that was pretty much from the bad side. But there was good too. But boy, oh boy, it made a difference after the baptism that there was no more 
uh, demonic stuff. Now we, I'm able to see it um, still, but hey, as long as it's not messing with me, because it doesn't. There's tons of angels around as well. And the Holy Spirit's right with me. I'm not even worried about the angels. The Holy Spirit's right here. Oh my gosh, that's the one that resurrected Jesus, okay? He's the one. So I've got the Holy Spirit right with me. You guys do too. So now what's going on is that the sun is finally now just starting to come up. And I'm just showing you this because it's really beautiful, guys. Um... That's a lens flare in the middle of the screen. You guys have been doing this for a long time, so but I really just can't tell because I can't see so well. Looks like just a bunch of beautiful. Thank you, Father God. Let us see your beautiful sun come up. And it is rising. I wish it would get up above the building just a little bit. But anyways, it is beautiful, guys. Thank you, Father God. You are amazing. That you provide us with this light. I got up at like 6.20 this morning. And it is a Friday a.m. Brooklyn stayed up super late. So she's going to sleep in a little bit later. But I got animals and all kinds of things to take care of first thing in the morning. So they start going nuts. And I thought I just saw like a little glimmer of like glittery looking stuff coming off the sun down on the bottom left, but it's probably just my glasses. God, you are so amazing. Look at that. It's even coming down over the building like a perfect circle. You can see it down around the building, which is wild that it's not cut off, but it's, it's amazing to me. Well, that's it for you guys. I just thought I'd show you that beautiful sun. And thank you, Father God, for showing us. You're amazing. And there's no way that that's like 350 mi million miles away. Um, there's just no way. And especially the way it just bent over like magically is uh, coming ahead of the building and showing a perfect, perfectly round circle, you guys. There's no way that that would be possible with the the sun 350 million miles away. <laughs> and it's the truth, so. Right? All right, guys. Love you guys in Christ. Ooh, what was that? That's pretty. That's the actual lens flare, and that is so beautiful. What a beautiful lens flare that's got going with it. I'll have to take a look at that. I've never seen a pretty golden lens flare like that. Usually they're green. Or blue. Um, usually green though or red. Look at that. You guys. That is amazing. How beautiful. Yep. That's a beautiful lens flare. Thank you Jesus. We love you. We love you. Blessings sent to heaven. If anybody needs any prayers, please leave them in the comments. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome day and a great weekend.